Ryan there, Cat Clothier, and uh, thanks for stopping by. I thought today I would share with you um, the, the, certainly the most powerful exercise my mentor has ever sent me through, one of my mentors ever sent me through, that truly changed the course of my business and my life. So let me share it with you. So for, I'll share it with you by way of a story, right? So I had uh, built a business for many, many years. Uh, from basically the time I was 17 until the time I was 30, um, that ultimately became a very, very successful business. Uh, by the time I was 30, I was responsible for a company that was doing $1.8 billion a year in sales. In March 14th of 2000, I walked out of that company um, and began a journey that ultimately led me to real estate. Now, without sparing you some of the details, when I walked out over the course of the next 22 months were probably, or no, no, I shouldn't even say probably, they absolutely were the worst 22 months of my life, right? I basically lost everything. Um, I was completely full of crap, thought I knew everything that there was to know about building a business, was so just full of, you know, it was unbelievable. Believe my own BS. It was, I was a kid. I'd been very successful at a very young age, and I just believed the entire world revolved around. And I learned very quickly what it meant to eat humble pie. I proceeded, proceeded to lose my entire life savings, almost $2 million, over the course of 22 months, all the way down to four grand. And so by January of 2003, I was a, I was a shell of myself. I had gone through a lot of really traumatic stuff, both financially and personally, and had been humbled a lot. And it got me into real estate. I went to one of these real estate seminars that you see advertised in the late night infomercials at two o'clock in the morning. I went there and it's really hard for me to talk bad about one of those infomercials because the reality of it is, is it changed the course of my life forever. I got involved in real estate and I started buying and selling houses and before I knew it, my first two years, 18 months to be exact, I flipped 91 houses and made a lot of money. Um, so fast forward, in 2008, we all know what happened to the real estate market. It all crashed. And so uh, here I am back on top of the world, have built my fortune back in 2008, and it all comes crumbling down two weeks before Christmas. Uh, uh, here I am losing it all again, facing foreclosure on properties, all having uh, basically to fire all of my employees, our entire business model for a company that I own, 1-800-SELL-NOW was failing, everybody was bailing all at one time, really tough stuff. So how is any of that relevant? Well, I. Uh, I saw a video uh, of a mentor of mine talking about his perfect day. And his comment was, it's reasonable to assume that if you're trying to create the perfect life, it should all start with the perfect day. And that if you could strip away geography and family and friends and where you are and who you're with and what, what would your actual perfect day look like? What would you want? And I wrote down my perfect day, just like I was writing a screenplay, just like if I wanted somebody to film it, they would know exactly what it looked like. What were the smells? What were the sights? What were the, who was I with? You know, my perfect day began with the wind blowing through my master bedroom and that was the way I, I woke up, right? My wife and I are asleep in bed in our beachside house and the ocean air is blowing through and blowing the, the drapes across the, across, just like in the movies, right? Across the bed and my young daughter's running in and jumping on the bed and waking us up. I mean, like a Hallmark commercial, right? And from that, um, my wife, we're driving you know, to our office and we have thousands of customers that love us and, and that want to be a part of our world and we are inspiring them all. And basically, completely 180 degrees opposite of where I was at that particular moment. And I wrote this all down and I ended up writing 14 pages handwritten. And then I took the next step, I recorded it. And I'll never forget this. Uh, this was in January. I wrote this down, I recorded it, and I proceeded to listen to it basically as, as much as I could every single day. I was working out of, uh, was working out of my friend's garage. We basically put a desk in there because I had to get rid of my office when I fired everybody. Put a desk in there so I could get out of the house because I had a young daughter uh, and I, it was really difficult for me to work while I had my, well, while she was playing behind me. And I wrote in the perfect day that I was driving down the beach with my wife to our office. And I'll share with you in a moment why that's important. So 
I'm sitting there and I listen to this every day while I'm at the gym, while I'm working out, while I'm in the car, uh, while I'm falling asleep at night, while I'm sitting there reading. I'm listening to this constantly. And, I'm, and the reason I'm doing this is because at the same time I had read a book called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harbecker. And I believed that my subconscious was listening to this. And I know that may sound a little goofy. I get it, believe me. I was a non-believer. But um, fast forward. July 26th, basically call it seven months later, um, my wife and I are driving down the beach to our office in Fort Lauderdale, which was about 25 miles south of our home in Delray Beach. We just dropped our little girl off at school. We're driving to our office where we now have uh, one employee, and we have just come off of a launch that has produced thousands of clients on a, on a business that we had never even knew was available to us. Uh, we just released a product called Find Cash Buyers Now, and suddenly we were on fire, right? Maybe the hottest thing in the real estate market. And driving down the beach, and again, this is seven months after I wrote this, and I pull over to the side of the road and I start crying. Now, I'm, if you know anything about me, I'm not that guy. So my wife believes I'm having a heart attack, getting ready to die. She has no idea what's going on. She's asking me, what are you doing? What's going on? I pull over and I open up the glove compartment and I hand her the 14 pages of my perfect day. I was so ashamed when I wrote it and felt so weak when I wrote it that I never actually shared it with her. And she read it and she started crying because we were living our perfect day in that moment. This was July 26th. Um, what I had actually written down was becoming a reality. My subconscious was kind of my, basically my intuition was kind of guiding us and showing us, hey, this is what's possible. If you believe this, you'll see it, instead of the other way around. If you want something, you have to believe you deserve it. And you have to, be, go, you have to basically go get it like it's your job. You have to absolutely, you owe it to yourself to be successful. You owe it to yourself to have your dream life, your perfect day, your perfect life. If you approach it like that, then it's only a formality. It will happen. It's, and I truly believe this. So I would tell you, as an entrepreneur, you're about to go build a business or you're in the process of building a business. The big takeaway here is write down your perfect day. Do it in excruciating detail. What do you smell? What do you see? What do you hear? Do it in the affirmative. Don't do it as, hey, this is what I would do. Put it down as, this is what it is. I'm doing this. I'm talking to these people. I'm hanging out with this person. I'm doing these things. This is what... And then go through the process of recording yourself and listen to it constantly. And watch the weight of the world start lifting off you. Watch how much it begins to empower you. When you get really clear on what you want and you start feeding your mind the ability to make it happen, you will be shocked at what can truly happen. Now, I get it. There's going to be plenty of people that see this video and they're going to go, Kent, you are so full of crap. Listen, I have no problem admitting I am not right for everybody. And if this pisses you off and you think this is, you know, just a bunch of hocus pocus crap, no problem. This isn't for you. But I'm counting on that there's a few people out there that they're going to go through this. And those will be the few people that actually get the results they're looking for. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, then do me a favor, subscribe somewhere over here. You're going to see a button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be updated the next time we get a video out to you. Take care. Again, thanks for watching.